Hello there friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Amy here and today I am going to create a scrapbook layout, a two page layout with these photos. So this was a really cool thing that my best friend and I did when she came to visit back in June. It's called a selfie museum where you go into this building and there's all different rooms and each room has a different theme and you just take selfies. And so this was a spontaneous thing we did. I had heard about it. I looked it up. They had reservations. So we went and we had so much fun that we went back the next night and did it again because it's a place where you could go and change your outfits. And so this day we dressed as twins and then the next day we went back when we were all dressed up. So when I, when, when I saw these photos, I immediately thought of a collection that Close to My Heart released, oh, maybe two years ago called Fresh Paint. And back then, I really didn't have much of a use for this. It's more of a teenager type thing. Um, but the pictures that we took on this particular afternoon, I thought were perfect. I love the zip strip. This is kind of like paint dripping. It could be a great page for an ocean as well. This is a great summertime or fall kind of like uh, sun. And then we've got all the rad words that our teenagers are saying these days. I don't have any teenagers anymore, so I don't. I couldn't really relate. Um, I do love this. This is great for kind of car racing, but pair black and white with pink or blue or green or red, and it could be for pretty much anything. Love all the different color arrows there i love this one it's kind of like splattered paint my favorite pattern is this and i actually did use a lot of this pattern um, for card making i love all the hearts so i think we're going to use um, some of this and then i do have some acrylic shapes that are left from the uh, National Scrapbooking Day celebration. There was an exclusive kit that offered those. And I did pull out the sticker sheet from the Fresh Paint collection. And again, there's lots of hearts. There's the smiley faces. I love all things smiley faces. Love the border zip strips and their stars. So I think there's a lot of things in this sticker sheet that I could probably use. So I'm going to clear my desk and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna use the Blue Bell cardstock as my base page. Let me bring in my Versamat. And then I did already go ahead and pre-cut some paper. So I've got my white daisy and this is going to, um, adhere flush with the right side edge. So this is gonna be the left side of the layout and I cut this white daisy. It is 11 and three quarters by 11 and a half. So I'm thinking that this is going to go right here like that and it will leave a nice border and then we will do the same thing to the other edge. So let's go ahead and adhere this. And I like that bright blue color. So we will put this down like this. And then I did go ahead and I cut mats for my photos. So I picked the black for my photo mats. They are kind of dark, like this is kind of dark, but I think on the white, it just makes it pop. And then I'm gonna use this heart paper. I had to, 
kind of be strategic because I only have um, bits and pieces of this heart paper. I do believe this paper is still available and I will uh, put in the description box everything that is still available. So I'm thinking I am going to use the heart flush with the right side and then we'll adhere um, our our photos to the photo mats and I just took scraps from the um, color cardstocks. I looked at the branding strips to see what color cardstocks go with this collection and it is flamingo and uh, candy apple, clover, lemonade, and nectarine. So I went through my scraps and I cut them. Some are uh, one and a half inches wide and some are one and a quarter inches wide. And I just, you know, randomly picked that. And I'm thinking that it will go like this and I will have these all flush. And I am using the dark side of all of the card stocks. And I thought that this would be a great way to use up some of my scraps and to bring out the colors in the hearts. But what I do want to do is move these down so there's a little bit of space down at the bottom as well as up here. And then these could go right here like this. And then we can do that like that. So I am liking that. This is kind of um, bland. It's a lot of white space. I did go into my stash and I found the Fresh Paint Picture My Life cards. So if you're not familiar with Picture My Life cards, Picture My Life cards are actually retiring from close to my heart, but there are three by four and four by six cards. Some are just decorative, some could be used for titles, some could be used for journaling. And I, what I love is one side is a vertical uh, orientation and the other side is horizontal. And you'll notice that there's different color schemes. So on one side, this is lemonade and on this side, it's nectarine. I really like that one. This one's cute today, it was a really good day. And then we have, of course, the four by six. So they're kind of fun. This one is a neat journaling. Three little things about today that mean a lot. That's cute. These could be used for journaling squares. They could be used for photo mats. Um, so I did pull some of those and I ended up taking this particular card and I cut it into a strip and I'm thinking that maybe this could go right here, kind of add a little bit. Maybe I'll dovetail that. And, um, then we could bring in the sticker sheet. Uh, but I'm thinking I might want to take my black shimmer brush and maybe do some splattering. So let me get my splatter box. And before we adhere everything down, maybe what I could do, I'm just going to take these off so I don't splatter my photos and then get a scrap piece of paper and kind of hide this. 
I always like to shake my shimmer brush and then squeeze it a little bit and then I will get something to tap it and you know what else I'm gonna do? I am going to, well, it's already glued down. I shouldn't have glued down the, the blue bird, but oh well. So let's, we'll just do a little bit here and maybe a little bit there. There we go. I do like that a lot. And then while we have the splatter box out, I am going to go ahead and splatter the white on the coordinating page. Now let me make sure that I am doing it the right way. Yep, and I am. And I'm going to splatter over here. Maybe a little bit down here. So we'll let that dry. And what I'm going to do now is I'll stop the camera and I will go ahead and adhere all of this down and then I'll be back. All right, I've got all my papers adhered down and I've got my photos matted and they're adhered. I just stuck this here to kind of audition this out. I think I like it here. Remember, this is a piece of that Picture My Life card that I had cut and I am going to give it a dovetail. So to dovetail, I'm just eyeballing the center of the strip and then going from one corner up to that slip and the other corner up to that slip and we've got a dovetail. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but I did distress black ink around all my cardstocks and my heart pattern paper. And I simply did that by taking my black ink and my mini blending tool and just going around the edges like this. And I think that that just allows these pieces to pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that there. I have not used any foam tape, 3D foam tape yet. Um, if you know me, you know I love dimension. I do like how all the splattering turned out. I think that was a nice added um, technique. Now I do have a lot more photos or, or more photos than what this layout uh, looks good with. So I am going to teach you another way that you can add more photos and or journaling to a layout um, other than flip flaps. There's lots of different ways to do that. And I will show you that in a minute. What I do want to do is finish embellishing this side and then we will move on to the other side. So like I mentioned, we do have the sapphire and candy apple acrylic shapes. And I did go through and I picked out some hearts because I thought they blended in well with the hearts on the paper. And I was thinking that maybe I could do something like this. I love the rule of threes. Um, that's just more pleasing to the eye. Just trying to decide if I want to have that big one right there or if I wanna have the big one down here. So many different options. I think I like that. And then I did cut some stickers from the sticker sheet that I showed you. I like the smiley face and I was thinking maybe we could do something here like this and maybe do a friends. I'm going to pull in my anti-static pouch and I'm going to take the sticky off of the sticker so I can kind of play around with it a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe that could go there. And this one says friends forever. So this is my BFF. We met at story time with our oldest kids. Um, we would take them before they were even in school to the library. And that's 
where our friendship began back when I lived in Ohio. So, I don't know, maybe we could do this something like this, maybe, or I could also maybe do it right onto the photo. That might be, that could be fun. So do that there like that. Um, I did bring in this heart, but I don't think it might look cute there. I don't know. We'll, we'll play. But I did like this tab. I like this tab. This is an acrylic shape, and I thought that perhaps maybe this could go right there. I would have loved for it to have been blue, but we don't have a blue one. Uh, and then this one says, this little sticker say, it says, stay golden. I love when Close to My Heart um, creates sticker sheets that have all these little, either one word or several word sayings. I think those are great for embellishments. And this could even, I don't like it there. Um, I don't know, that might get that might get lost there. But I really want to use it. If only my photos were up higher, that would be perfect. Or you know what we could do? I could get a piece of white cardstock. That's what we'll do. Let me cut a little scrap and that will allow for the heart to pop. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive. And we'll stick this right there like that. And then I could put that there. I like that. And then that could go right there. So I think I'm liking that. And because this paper is so busy and we've got all the different colors here and we've got these embellishments, I think this is plenty of embellishments for this page. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down and then we will begin the corresponding page. All right, so I adhered my hearts here. I adhered this, and then I went ahead and took these three little kind of stars from the Sapphire embellishment pack and put them right there. I'm still contemplating on the heart here, so I haven't adhered that yet. But I did want to adhere this on camera because part of this smiley sticker is going to be on the photo, but the other um, part is not. So I'm going to adhere this flat like that but then for the friends i do want it to be popped so i'm going to add some foam tape to the bottom of that and the way i'm going to do that is i'm just going to take a little bit of the 3d foam tape i'm using the um the thin uh, dimension and the thin width and I'm just putting it at the bottom of my sticker I had to make sure I had it going the right way and that way and you know what I think maybe yeah I want the smiley to be on top so that is going to give it a little bit of dimension I'm going to see about maybe moving this over just a little bit yeah and you know what, because this is a double mat, I think I'm going to get one of the little dots and stick that there. And that's gonna make that all one height. All right, so I do like this. I added the sticker here. Again, I'm still contemplating this, so I'm gonna let that sit for a while and we will go ahead and work on the next page so here is my blue bird and i think my white daisy paper should be dry and this one we are going to here flush with the left side 
so that we have the border around the top and the bottom and the outer edge. So I'm just going to add my adhesive and I am going to bring the left side, oops, the left side in for a minute. just to make sure I line these up. And I just realized, I guess I did not have those blue acrylic shape stars adhered up here. So let's go ahead and adhere these really quick. I thought that would make for a nice little embellishment cluster. So I'll put one right here. And one right there and one right there like that and we'll just hold off on that heart like i already mentioned so i'm going to put this right here like this just so that i make sure that i line these up so they line up there we go that looks perfect okay so now to carry on that heart paper this little strip which is three by ten will go flush here and again i guess i should bring this page back in and make sure that i adhere that even so let's go ahead and do this on camera and I'll put this right here like that. Perfect. But before we do that, you know what I need to do? I need to sponge this. And then I have to sponge all those other strips, which I will do off camera so you don't have to watch me do that. So we got that done. Let me bring this in again. I feel like this paper collection was made for this. Have you ever heard of a selfie museum where you just go around from room to room and take selfies? I've never heard of it before. All right, so there's that. And now I've got all of these strips I'm gonna use the dark side and I am gonna to have to sponge distress those. And then I have my two photos that we are going to put on these. So I will distress these all and mount my photos onto their mats and I will be right back. All right, so I've got all of these parts and pieces adhered. I distressed my card stocks with the black ink, and then I lined up the left page so that the pictures were even. And now what we need to do is just finish embellishing this. There's lots of white space. I did pull one of the border stickers off of the sticker sheet, and I liked this because these little um, X's kind of match those little stars that I put on the other side. I'm going to call these stars. And I am going to adhere this, oh, maybe about at the... 11 and a quarter. Um, I'm going to trim off the extra. And having this Versa mat really does wonders because it allows everything to line up. Okay, so I trimmed that and I like how that looks. And now we need to do a little bit more. So I do have another piece of that picture, my life card that we cut, and I am going to dovetail this, find the slit in the center, and then go from one quarter to the top of the slit, 
and the other corner to the top of the slit. And then I was thinking, I pulled out this Picture My Life card, and I like that green. It's kind of a wash, uh, a water brush look. And I thought that maybe I would cut a strip and then we can uh, mount this one on top of that. So let me get my trimmer and we'll be right back. All right, so I like how that looks. And then I found this quote online and I really like it. Some people just make you feel better when you're around them. They're sunshine for your soul and medicine for your mind. And that really describes my friendship with Tanya. And so I was thinking I would put that right there. And at first I thought, oh, maybe we'll mount it. But I think what I'm gonna do is just add some ink around the edges to make this pop. Like that, and that could go right there and fill up that space. And then I did um, cut some more stickers, so I like the happy here. Um, Let's see if we bring this down a little bit. I don't know. Let's let's adhere this and we'll adhere our phrase and then we'll see where we're at. Maybe I don't know if I'm liking that sticker. We'll see. Um, put that right there like that. Would hear this right here, and um, maybe I could do another, maybe another. Sticker, another smiley sticker, or I do like the rainbow and I like the hearts. So we're just gonna kind of play here for a minute. We could always do a bunch of these hearts. There's a green heart, a blue. Yeah, let's try these. What would this look like? Rather than bring in another shape, maybe I could just randomly stick these, scatter them around. I don't know, we're, we're playing here. We definitely have all the colors. So this is just giving you an example of how you can, we'll do some big ones down here and the little ones up here, the heavier stuff down below. And do something like that and just keep it really simple. Okay, I think I am liking that. I think I like that a lot. So that would be the left, the right side, and then the left side. And then I did pull in these two stickers that I liked. One says play all day, and the other one says all ready, always ready for an adventure. So I thought I could put those in this little cluster over here. So always ready for an adventure and play all day because that's exactly what we were doing. So put that there. I think I'm going to leave the heart off. 
and then that could go right here like that. Yeah, I think I like this. This will be, it's definitely not as busy as the left side, but I think it balances it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that like that. Let me just see if there are any more of these blue embellishments, acrylic embellishments. I don't want to overdo it. draw attention. Let's see. Sometimes you don't know when you should stop. <laughs> okay, there's no more of these little guys. Um, No, I, I do kind of like that, and that ties in with these over here. And this draws attention to the quote. So I think we will go ahead and do that. Um, so let me get that adhered, and then I'm going to show you how you can add more photos or journaling spots to your two-page layout. Okay, I've got the other page done and the acrylic pieces are drying. So here are some other photos that I want to add to the story. And I cut some black mats. So let's go ahead and adhere our photos to the mats. And again, I think that the black really... Um, makes the picture stand out. So what this is, is a pocket plus page protector. Close to my heart has several different sizes. And this one has three pockets and they're four by four. So what I'm thinking is I could do two photos. <coughs> Excuse me on one side and three on the other, but we could go like this and then trim this. I have a picture of my life card. This is four by six and I like this because it says awesome and then I could check what I want to check. So I could say awesome day and then do the journaling. So I'm going to trim this down and make it four by four. And this will give me plenty of room to journal. And I was thinking that this could go right here. So I'm gonna mat it onto the black card stock. And we can adhere this right in here like this. And these slip in right like that. And then these other pictures could go like this. So we'll put this one here. And then these little pocket page plus protectors have the holes so you can add them to your album right in the middle. So I will show you how this lines up in just a second. And then we'll put this one right here like this. And then they will slide in. Just like this. So another way that you can 
add more photos. I could even embellish over here if I wanted to. But if I bring these other, the, the two page layout in to the, to the view, then this is going to slip in right like this. And you'll see how I strategically placed my photos so that they line up with the pocket page plus. So it's just another great way on how to add photos to extra photos and extra journaling to your pages without having to create another page. So there you have it. I used some scraps, we used uh, acrylic shapes, we used stickers. There's no stamping on these pages. I will do my little journaling off camera and uh, post a completed picture on social media. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and could give it a thumbs up and um, like and share and follow my channel that just tells Instagram or YouTube that you like these types of things and they'll show more and it helps my little channel to grow and I appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.